What's up y'all, it's your boy Leanne of Tim Coolest at Acne and Geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into the Honest Trailer for Falcon and the Winter Soldier. The Honest Trailer lately has been iffy, hit or miss with me. They lost me with the whole Snyder Cut one. Then the Godzilla vs Kong one was also not that exceptional. Um, I hope they get it on the line. It's like they, they, they trying to find something so funny. Like, first it was so effortlessly, now it's like they're trying too hard. They try hard right now, so I hope this hits the landing. You know what I'm saying? Let's just dive right in and see. Six minutes. This episode is sponsored by Google Play, with the help of Summoner's War, Law Centuria. From the streaming service with the biggest gap between quality of content and suckage of interface comes Marvel's latest Avengers you didn't really care about until they got their own TV show. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Who's next, Hawkeye? Of course. When a rogue super soldier is on the loose, the only thing they can stop her is a few shots from a regular gun. But since the story has to last six episodes, two of Marvel's weakest heroes are on the case. Sam the Falcon Wilson, a man with the power of a jetpack he rents from the Air Force. And Bucky the Winter Soldier Barnes. Proof that men will literally scour the criminal safe haven of Madripoor instead of going to therapy. You missed your court mandated therapy. I'm sorry, Mr. Barnes, you're under arrest. But when these not even that opposite military guys have to work together, you'll be in for a lot of forced bickering. That's not a thing. Uh, he, didn't they say the weakest of the two? He's not that weak. Because in his therapy, he's weak. And he mastered posing stoically. <laughs> And so much forced talk about Cap's old shield that you'll start to wish Cap was short for please decapitate me. Thank you, Captain America. But this belongs to you. Let's take the shield and do this ourselves. You gotta give me the shield, man. He gave you that shield for a reason. Why I don't know. The shield? jokes are not landing. The and the soundtrack is so weird for this. The, the soundtrack sounds so upbeat. Thing I've got left to a family. It's just a shield, bro. Don't lose your arm over it. You know, you think he would know that there's a That was a good pun. I mean, doesn't he ever play with that thing? Return to the military espionage side of the MCU, where the morals are as gray as the visuals, full of shady characters like Zemo, a fancy dancer who talks about the black experience one too many times for someone who blew up the king of Wakanda. I told him about trouble, man. He wrote it in that book. That's a good boy. <laughs> captures the African American experience. Sharon Carter, but it kind of shows that he didn't do it for race. He did it to really destroy the Avengers. Didn't matter who was in his way. Oh yeah, he may look the part, but this blonde-haired hunk still isn't ready to take on the mantle of America's next Kurt Russell. Also, Julie Louis Dreyfus pops up at the end because everyone in Hollywood is obligated to join the MCU at this point. Your next, Costanza. This whole universe is against me. <laughs> no one will escape the fury of the Flag Smashers, a movement with a nefarious plan to deliver food and medicine to refugees. But don't worry, they'll kill just enough people to qualify as villains. I agree with your fight. I just can't give That wasn't the, the whole plan. There was also to join the military a nefarious plan towards the end. Kill. To combat his rising threat of poor people having nowhere to live, Sam must become a new kind of Captain America, one who will call out the problems with our system. A few people have just as much power as an insane god. Then ask them to do better and hope that it changes anything. You've got to do better, Senator. Honestly, the fact that this speech works is the least realistic part of the MCU, and they share a universe with this guy. So enjoy a show that feels like a stretched out B-tier Marvel movie that annoyingly makes you stay up late to watch every episode unless you want it spoiled on Twitter. Ah, oh, dang it! In this enjoyable series that deepens existing characters, bring some big budget action to the small screen and adds crucial new information to the Marvel Universe. The Avengers yeah. don't get paid <laughs> okay, that, 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 that's... But um, I'm seeing they scared to touch on the Isaiah part of this. Is there some kind of fun for heroes? Or... So this is why Scarlet Witch drives a Buick. 
starring. Why the taking the Isaiah thing? I stand Sebastian. Baron's dance grooves. The Carter 2. A wolf in Veep's clothing. Goldie Spawn. Just when I thought this country couldn't get any meaner, you go and do something like this. And totally redeem yourself. Power Punch Girl. Okay. <gasps> Seems like they don't have a problem with that storyline at all. Sam's on a boat. Sam's on a boat. Everybody look at Sam because he's sailing on a boat. Ah, oh, damn, they're really embracing the whole day trying to be SNL thing. Sam's sister's parents' boat. Sky Captain and the Shield of Tomorrow. Let's do it. Let's stare. They're practically begging us to do a stairs montage, huh? I get what they're going for. Oh, I have messages to reply to. Contest. The bionic staring machine. Is it always just stare like that? Wait, cut the music. No, 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 no. You can't stare at Betas like that. Your stairs are too forced. Stairs have to be natural. You're doing the staring thing again. Hey, Screen Junkies. May the fourth be with you. Check out the new show, Rabbit Hole, where we find the hidden connections in film and TV. Up first, how Darth Vader was created by Shmoo. <laughs> No, seriously, mushrooms are the key to all of Star Wars. Check it out. This episode is sponsored by Google Play. Download Summoner's War, Lost Centuria, and discover more on Google Play now. There are very few please say comments nowadays. Say these violent delights have violent ends. It feels too good, I can't stop scratching it. Lick the stamp and send it. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. One hit, I think the realizing the Avengers are broke, that one hit. And I, I really thought about the Zemo situation, but then retracted my thought. But they really, they also, I'm on the boat, that SNL, uh, Lonely Island gag, didn't land well, really. Like a lot of people are roasting on this trailer saying they're trying to be SNL. And that just proved it. Anyway, <laughs> subscribe, we like my reaction, deuces.